My name is Diane Foley. I am the mother of James Foley and the president and founder of the James W. Foley Legacy Foundation. The Foley Foundation was founded to advocate for the return of all Americans taken hostage abroad and to promote safety for journalists worldwide. I also am privileged to serve on an ONA committee to select a deserving recipient for the James Foley Award for Conflict Reporting. This awardee must demonstrate excellent reporting in the most challenging of circumstances. This year, I am privileged to announce that the awardee is Kiana Hayiri. Kiana is based in Kabul, Afghanistan, and has done brilliant work reporting on the tremendous toll violence has taken on the people of that region. I'd also like to call on other members of the selection committee to tell you why Kiana is most deserving. Kiana really embodies the spirit of the James Foley Award. Through her powerful visual journalism, she tells the story of people contending with extraordinarily challenging circumstances, and she treats them with dignity and respect. And she doesn't parachute in for a few days to capture their stories. Afghanistan is her home. Kiana, I'm so pleased that we're giving you this award to honor your commitment to your craft and to the people whose lives you share with the world. Hi there, this is Nikita Patel and I oversee news partnerships at Twitter. I'm also on ONA's board and the awards committee. Kiana is deserving of this award because her work truly speaks for itself. Her work from Afghanistan is groundbreaking and has so much depth. I was absolutely floored looking at the stories she's covered and the emotion that she's been able to capture. Congratulations, Kiana. Kiana, I want to congratulate you on behalf of ONA and the James Foley Legacy Foundation for your outstanding work and safe reporting from a conflict zone. Congratulations. It's an honor to be named as the Sears recipient of James Foley Award for Conflict Reporting. It's truly humbling and encouraging and I wanted to thank the selection committee for recognizing my work. I also wanted to thank my editors, Miko Takanen and Amy Kellner, and our exceptional team at New York Times Cobo Bureau, whose work, support, and assistance have been crucial to many of the stories I have produced in the last two years. Unfortunately, violent deaths in this country are a daily reality. In the six years I have been based out of Afghanistan, 31 local journalists have been killed doing their jobs. They cover a war that is ravaging their own backyard, and they report on the killings of civilians around them, sometimes their own friends and colleagues, weeks after weeks, but their work is rarely ever acknowledged. When I first received the news, I was overwhelmed with mixed feelings. I genuinely think there are a dozen other journalists out there whose work is more deserving of this award than mine. I take this recognition as a solid reminder of my responsibility to stay and continue my work. But I also wanted to share this award with my colleagues, Mojib Mash'al, Najim Rahim, Fahim Abed, and Fatima Faizi, who have been working tirelessly to highlight the human toll of a conflict that is fast slipping into history. Despite the darkness of our days, they never stop dreaming about the day that peace arrives in their backyard and it's pomegranate orchard. Thank you.